Hello traders, hope you are doing well. Today is going to be a very special day for a lot of you who is watching this video. I am very confident that the next 30 minutes time that you are going to invest in watching this video has the capacity to completely change your stock market career. If you just follow this option selling strategy as per the instruction that I give you today, you can earn at least 4 to 6 percent return on your investment per month. This return is more than the bank fixed deposit or the interest that you receive from your saving account deposit. The maximum return you will get from your fixed deposit or saving account interest is just 5 to 6 percent per annum that is per year. But this option selling strategy can give you this return in just one month. We have spent hours together to fine tune the strategy and make it as simple as possible so that even a beginner can easily use this strategy and make consistent profits. I decided to post this secret strategy on YouTube for free only because of the love and support you have given us. All I ask for you in return is just to take 10 seconds of your time to like and share this video with as many retail traders as possible so that even they can become independent traders. Let us all learn and earn together. Now without further delay, let us start discussing about the rules of the strategy. Traders, the rules are very simple but at the same time it's very important. You have to follow these rules to make consistent profits. I suggest you to take notes if possible so that you don't forget the rules. Now please remember this strategy works only on Nifty and Bank Nifty. I will explain the strategy taking Bank Nifty as an example. Once that is done, we will tell you how to trade with Nifty as well. Okay? So let us start. Now what we are seeing is the rules for Bank Nifty. Alright? Now traders, the first important thing that you need to understand when you are trading with the strategy is when you have to enter the trade and when you have to exit the trade. Now what you are seeing right now is the option chain data of Bank Nifty. Now we all know Nifty and Bank Nifty has weekly expiry. So when do we enter the trade? We enter the trade on the date of expiry. See I am shooting this video on 17th November 2021. Now when is the next expiry? Now the latest expiry is on 18th of November. So 18th of November is when I will enter the trade. Now on this expiry day, the value of all these option data will become zero, right? So we are not going to take position on the current expiry. We are going to take position on the next week expiry. Now when is the next expiry? The next expiry is 25th of November. So this is the expiry date which I have to choose. Now once I choose this, I will get option chain data of the upcoming week. Now what you are seeing right now is the option chain data of 25th of November. So looking at this data, we will be taking our position. Now those who have not understood when we need to enter and when we need to exit, just have a look at this simple example. Now traders, let us see when we need to enter the trade and when we need to exit the trade. Now I will enter the trade on the day of expiry. The latest expiry is 18th November 2021, right? Now on this date, I will go to option chain and I will choose expiry date of as 25th November. So the maximum time I will hold this position is until 25th of November. So on 25th November, 1 o'clock I will exit from this position. As soon as I exit on 25th November, I will choose the upcoming expiry date. The next weekly expiry date is on 2nd December 2021. Now I will hold this position until 2nd December and on 2nd December 1 o'clock I will exit from this position and on this date I will take a fresh position for the upcoming week. Now I hope this is clear to you. Our entry is always on the near expiry date and our exit will be on the next expiry date. Now looking at this, we need to understand that this is a weekly option strategy. Now on the entry date, what kind of position will we take? Let us understand that now. 
Now in this option selling strategy, we will be taking some call option positions and we will also be taking some put option position. Now what are these positions? Let us look into it one by one. Now on Thursday when you start, now the first position that you need to take is you need to buy a call option which is trading at a premium of 300 rupees. It does not matter which strike price it is. Whichever strike price is trading at 300 rupees or close to 300 rupees, you need to buy a call option of that strike price. Now at the same time, you need to buy a 300 rupees premium put option. Now in the strategy, we are buying first so that we get some margin benefit from the broker. Okay. So you need to buy a 300 rupees premium call option and you need to buy a 300 premium put option. Now the next position that you will take is you will sell 100 points below the buy position that you took. You bought one 300 rupees call option, right? Whichever strike price that was trading, you need to sell 100 points below that strike price. Now on the put option side also, you need to sell 100 points above the, the strike price that you entered the trade at 300 rupees premium. Now I know some of you might have a doubt. What do I mean by sell 100 points below and sell 100 points above? Now if you have that doubt, just wait for some time. After discussing about all these positions, I will tell you exactly what do I mean by this. I will show you a clear example as to how to take these positions. Okay, so don't worry. Now after this, you need to buy a 10 rupees premium call option. We are buying this for the purpose of hedging. All right. Now we are going to do the same thing on the put option side also. We will buy a 10 rupee premium put option. Now here are the last two positions that we will take and enter the trade. The first position is you will sell 150 premium call option and you will sell 150 premium put option. Okay. Now traders, these are the eight positions that we need to take on the day that we are entering to trade with the strategy. How to take these trades, all of these things I will explain. Okay, don't worry. You all know that when we do option selling, there might be positions where you need to do adjustments many times, right? But the speciality of this strategy is in the entire week, after you take this position, you might come across only two situations when you have to do adjustments. Now those two adjustments also are very simple. I will show you some live market examples as well where I show you how to properly take these adjustments at what level. But just to let you know, there will be only two adjustments. The first situation will be when the sell option premium from 150, if it crosses 200, at that time, I would have to do one adjustment. And second situation when we need to do adjustment is when the sell 150 premium put option position from 150 if it crosses 200 rupees, at that time, there will be one adjustment. These are the only two situations during which this strategy requires adjustments. Now, apart from this situation, there is no requirement for you to worry about this strategy at all. Okay. Only two positions that you need to keep observing is the sell 150 premium call option and the sell 150 premium put option positions. Now traders, next I will be showing you how to take all of these positions using our trading account. Okay. Now traders, please listen very carefully because step by step, I'm going to explain how you need to take your position. Okay. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to come to option chain data. Okay. Once you're here, if you're trading in Nifty, choose Nifty. If you're trading in Bank Nifty, choose Bank Nifty. Now for this example, I'm choosing Bank Nifty. Now once this is done, you need to come to this expiry date section and from here, you need to choose the next expiry date. Okay. Now the date today is 18th of November. Today was an expiry date. So exactly on the expiry date, you have to come here. It does not matter what time it is. Anytime during the market hours, you have to come here and click on expiry date, which is the next expiry. The next expiry we have is on 25th November. So I have to choose that. Once I choose this, I will get option chain data for 25th November expiry. Now from here, is where we'll start adding our position. Now, which is the first position that I said we need to add? I told you that we need to buy a call option, which is trading close to 300 rupees. Okay. So in this last trade price section, I have to scroll down and check which strike price is trading close to 300 rupees. 
38,100 is trading close to 300 rupees premium. Right now, instead of choosing 274, I'm choosing 323 only because this is more close to 300 compared to 274. So what I have to do? I have to open my trading account and I have to buy 38,100 call option. So this is the first position that we need to take. Now, traders, there are two ways how you can execute this. One, if you just go to your broker account here, if you choose 38,100. and here you have ce right when you click on buy you can execute like this one by one order you can execute right but instead of that you can place all the orders at once and execute it now here just as an example i showed zero the but zero the does not allow out of the money call option now some time back i told you you need to buy a 10 rupee call option and a 10 rupee put option right but zero the will not allow far out of the money options okay now instead of implementing the strategy in zero the you need to choose a broker which allows you to trade in far out of the money options so as per my research alice blue and angel broking allows you to trade in far out of the money so you can use that broker to trade but as far as i know in alice blue i'm not sure if there is basket order facility where you can execute all the trade at once but i'm sure that it is available in angel broking so what i will do now is i will open angel broking trading terminal and i will show you how to place these orders okay now traders this is angel broking trade terminal now from here if you want to execute a basket order then this is what you need to do go to more and from here just go down at the bottom can you see here sensible click on that once you click on that you will be taken to this page now on this page click here and click on option chain okay so this is the option chain data of nifty but we are trading in bank nifty right so i will choose bank nifty when is our expiry we want expiry data of 25th november so this is bank nifty option chain data for 25th november expiry this is the same data that you find it here okay now instead of executing all the orders one by one in this you can add everything in one basket and place the order so in option chain what did we see the first order that we need to place 38100 strike price it's trading close to 300 rupees so this position i have to click on buy okay it is added to my basket now after taking this position next what we need to do I told you we need to sell a call option 100 points below the 300 strike price position that you took 100 points below means 38200 so this is 100 points below than the this position right so this position i have to sell okay i click on sell now that is added to my basket now the same thing i'll be doing on the put side in put side i have to buy a call option which is trading close to 300 rupees 38000 strike price is trading at 311 which is close to 300 right so i have to click here buy now on the put option side what did i tell you i need to buy 100 points above it so this is our first entry 100 points above this is 37900 so what i have to do i have to sell this position okay so let's summarize what we have done so far we have bought 38100 call option which was trading close to 300 and we sold one call option 100 points below than the strike price okay what did we do next we bought a 38000 put option because it was trading close to 300 rupees premium we bought it and then 100 points above it which is 37900 put option we sold so as of now we have added four positions now next what we need to do we need to buy a call option which is trading close to 10 rupees so which strike price is trading close to 10 rupees this 11 rupees 60 paisa is trading close to 10 rupees that is 40700 call option so i will click buy here okay now same thing we need to do on the put side which strike price is trading close to 10 rupees we have 35500 trading close to 10 rupees so this position i click on buy so as of now six positions we have added there are two more pending what are those on the call side i have to sell a strike price which is trading at 150 rupees so which strike price is trading at 150 we have 160 38500 strike price this is closest to 150 right so i have to 
sell a call option okay and finally on the put side also which strike price is trading close to 150 rupees or closest to 150 strike price we have 138 165 okay for this we can choose either one of it so in this case i will choose 165 i will sell a put option which is trading close to 150 that is 165 trading at 37600 now traders see here as of now i have placed eight orders okay it is not executed if I want to execute this trade, we will just cross check once and click on trade. So when I click on trade, what will happen is if I go to my order section, the trade will get executed and it will reflect here. So it will come to your order book. All right. I'm shooting this video after market hours, so I cannot execute this trade. But let's see why we have taken all these positions. All right. Now, if I just click on analyze, see, this is the payoff chart for the strategy. It is telling the maximum profit I can have 7,800 rupees and the maximum loss I will have is 47,000 rupees. So don't worry, you will not have so much loss because I will be teaching you how to make adjustments. I will tell you when to enter, when to exit, all of these things. I will tell you how to do adjustments. So don't worry about that. Now, if you see this payoff chart, what is it telling you? It's telling that if you check this section, as long as the market stays at 37,200 range and till it goes to 38,813, I will be in profit in the strategy. So if you just calculate the current market price is 37,976. So the probability of you not making profit in this option selling strategy is very, very less. In a month, if you're using the strategy and entering the trade, almost all the time, you can keep making consistent profit even though the profit is less but still you will have consistency traders you should not calculate your profit trade by trade you need to calculate it at least month on month so whatever is your capital now according to angel broking the capital required for this trade is 140000 okay now for this investment at least 4 to 6% returns you can expect with the strategy but you need to follow exactly all the things that I tell you in this video. Okay. So getting 6% return per month on this capital investment, it is so much better than the bank FT fixed deposit or the interest that you get from your bank. So when it comes to option selling, it is not how much profit you make. It is about the consistency. If you want to make consistent profit, then I highly recommend you use the strategy, even though the profit will be 2000 to 3000 rupees per lot for your capital investment. If you calculate in a month, four to five trades, if you take, you can easily make five to six percent returns. Now traders, I have told you what and all orders you have to take, right? On the start date, you have to execute this order and enter the trade. Now I will show you some backtested data using the Opstra tool and we will see how the strategy worked in the past. Now, before that, I would like to explain to you when you need to exit this trade. Okay. Now, when to exit traders, you will come across three situations during which you would have to exit the trade. Now, first we will see at what situation we need to exit from Bank Nifty. Situation number one, when your profit reaches 2,200 rupees, at that time, you would have to exit from the trade. Now, why 2,200? We have backtested this strategy for more than one year now. On many occasions, the profit level has gone to 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 also. That is per week. But according to me, making five to 6,000 rupees profit in one week, expecting the same kind of profit every week is not possible. But if you stick to 2,200 rupees per week for one lot, almost 95 to 98% of the time, you will end up in profit. In option selling, consistency is the key. Rather than making five to 6,000 rupees profit some week, continuously making 2,200 rupees profit every week will significantly increase your success rate month on month slowly but steadily you can keep making profits now let's see situation number two there is no strategy that will give you success all the time there might be situations even with the strategy you would have to exit the trade so when do we exit we need to exit when loss reaches to 
2000 rupees you will take your positions right you will keep observing now without profit reaching 2200 if it reaches 2000 rupees loss first at that time you would have to exit the trade now this will help you cut your losses most of the time you will not come across this kind of situation but it is important that we need to know when we need to cut our losses and exit from the trade so that we preserve our capital and try for the next week now situation number three there might be some situation when your profit will not reach 2200 rupees or it will not go to loss of 2000 rupees at that time you will just hold your position until the expiry date till 1 o'clock now after 1 o'clock you will exit from your entire position it doesn't matter how much profit you have made or how much loss you are in you need to quickly exit the trade and take position for the coming week now what you are seeing right now this profit loss this is for one lot of bank nifty now if you are taking two lots of bank nifty at that time your profit will be 4400 and you need to exit when your loss reaches 4000 rupees but here only for one lot I'm speaking about. Now, if you're using the strategy in trading in Nifty, at that time, you will exit when your profit is 2000 rupees or when you reach a loss of 1500 rupees or on the expiry date. So these are the only three situations which you will come across when you're trading with the strategy. Okay. Now traders, let us just summarize what and all we have learned so far. We got to know that this strategy works only on Nifty and Bank Nifty. This is a weekly option strategy. We got to know when we need to enter the trade. We got to know when we need to exit the trade and how we need to take position in our trading portal. Right? Now there are some topics which we need to discuss. That is what values we need to take for Nifty positions and how to make adjustments in the live market. That is what we will be covering in the next video. Now don't worry. I'm already working on that video the Saturday or Sunday for sure we will upload that video in the channel so please ensure that you have subscribed to us and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload the next video now traders if you enjoyed this video please ensure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you think this video will be useful for your friends please share it with them a lot of people who are expert in option selling maybe even you might be watching this video you can share your knowledge with others by answering the questions that they have in the comment section below. Even I will try to answer all those questions as well. So traders, be prepared for the next video. Now try to watch this video more than once so that you get a better understanding about the strategy so that it will be more easy for you to understand when you watch the part 2 section of this video. Alright, now traders, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.